Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dobo. Today, I'm going to share with you guys five helpful tips for beginner vinyl wrappers. Check it out. I love that old school intro, man. All right, let's get to these five helpful tips. Number one, you gotta relax, okay? Don't stress about vinyl wrapping. You're gonna suck your first time. I sucked my first time. Joe Schmo sucked his first time. All these pros, all these professional rappers, CK Raps, all those guys on YouTube that are professional rappers, they all suck their first time. You guys need to stop tripping, man. You guys need to relax. Vinyl wrapping is something that you're gonna have to learn how to be good at over time, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't happen overnight, so relax. If it doesn't come out perfect the first time, whatever, man, you can redo it, all right? Number two, take your time, okay? Do it in your spare time. Make time to vinyl wrap. Take, spend spend like two or three hours on one piece. Make it look perfect. The, the more, you, more time you take in vinyl wrapping a piece, the nicer it looks. If you're in a rush, it's gonna show. If you took your time and put in the work into that piece, it's gonna show. I've showed you guys many different techniques. I've showed you guys the faster way. I've showed you guys the, the slower and more tedious way. And both ways turned out pretty good for me because I've been doing this for a while. And I feel like you guys, you guys can learn how to do this, man. Don't get discouraged. I've, I've gotten a lot of comments on Facebook and on my uh, Instagram telling me, yeah, I saw your video, but I still don't think I could do it. Maybe maybe I didn't do my job. Maybe I didn't make it Joe Schmo enough, but really just, just take your time, okay? You can't rush this process. It's a learning process. The very first time you're doing this, you really have to take your time, relax, and just, just enjoy the process of vinyl wrapping. And that leads me to number three, enjoying the process. It's, it's a new skill. Like, people pay good money for people to vinyl wrap their stuff, their cars, their automobiles, their freaking ski doos whatever it is. You have to enjoy what you're doing because what you're learning is something that a lot of people will pay good money for. I don't like to charge people, like a lot of people will hit me up, but to me, I'd rather teach somebody how to vinyl wrap rather than charging them and then they come back to me saying, oh, this didn't come out right, this didn't come out right, can you fix it? Yada yada. At least if you learn the process, you're gonna enjoy what you're doing and it's gonna show. Tip number four, have a plan. Don't just go in there and start rapping. You saw my how-to video, okay? Every time I went to go wrap a new piece, I had a plan. I, I checked the shapes, I looked for the recesses, I looked for the curves, I looked for the corners. I had a game plan. I said, you know what? I'm gonna start right here. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start right here on the bottom because it's a little bit more flat. You can change your plan when you're vinyl wrapping and it, it's fine to change it up. It's never gonna be this one exact plan and if it doesn't go that way, it doesn't mean that the, the wrap is done. No, you can change it. You can organically change it based on the situation, based on the vinyl. So you really have to look at the piece and figure out where you're gonna stretch, where you're gonna heat, where you're gonna push and where you're gonna pull. Really, that's, that's all it is. It's having a game plan will help you in the long run. Number five, one of the most important things to, to understand about vinyl wrapping, especially if you're a beginner, you have to use the right material and you have to know that material. Let me explain. Some materials stretch better than others. Some are more pliable. Some are thicker and less pliable. Some do just really good all around. Like this gloss color in Avery Supreme SW900, this vinyl, it's really great for technical corners, technical curves, technical recesses. This vinyl, it just stretches and it just, you can really vinyl wrap with not a lot of heat. The only time I really heat with this vinyl is when I'm post heating. That means I'm just heating everything up, making sure the vinyl forms into into places, making sure the uh, corners stick, the edges are good. You know what I'm saying? That's just, you just really have to get to know your vinyl. And I think that's a huge mistake when beginners are vinyl wrapping. Like when I first started, I bought like the eBay 3M stuff or you know, those that, that fake eBay Chinese special, man. And, and I hated it, it turned me off. Whenever I went to wrap something, like it just never came out right. No matter how much heat I gave it, 
it just never did its job and I feel like that really turned me off to vinyl wrapping. I think it took like maybe two or three years before I started up again because it was something like I really really wanted to learn. I, I watched videos on vinyl wrapping. I was so so interested in it and buying the wrong material just turned me off. So make sure you guys get the right material. You know what? Ask around. Like ask these these big vinyl sh wrapping shops, these big vinyl wrapping gurus. Go to YouTube, hit up Google, man. Figure out what is the right material before you even click that buy, before you put it in your cart. Okay? You can't just put stuff in your cart and you don't know what the heck you're buying, right? That doesn't make sense. So do your research and understand what kind of vinyl you're buying for your project. Here's a little bonus tip for you guys that I didn't mention in my other videos. I, I just thought it was, um, I don't know why I didn't mention them. I just thought maybe it was kind of obvious. But basically you want to heat the crap out of these vinyls, okay? You want to post heat them because this is, this material is plastic, it's PVC and it needs to form to the shape to the contour of whatever it is that you're wrapping. Like this, this fairing for instance, it's, it's in one piece. And I did a lot of post heating that I didn't show on the video because it's just boring. It's just me hitting every square inch with heat until it gets really, really hot. You can buy a laser thermometer um, and really just get to know what the heating temperature of this specific vinyl is. Um, for me, I didn't look it up. I just figured, ah, ton of heat, you know? There is a certain temperature that these need to be post heated to, so definitely look that up. That goes back to research, so back to what I was saying. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Please don't get discouraged when you're out there vinyl wrapping. Like I really want you guys to start. I feel like I put out these videos and a lot of people were still discouraged and I, I, I hate that because I'm a regular dude, like I didn't, I was never like as good as this. Like I said, I mentioned before, like I really want to teach people how to vinyl wrap their motorcycles because I feel like there's not a huge community doing it. And you know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna start putting out a lot of these vinyl wrapping videos. I'm actually gonna create a playlist and I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these videos. So definitely stay tuned. I have a video where I'm wrapping a full tank. I'm wrapping my 899 tank in one piece. So I really want you guys to stay tuned for that because I was looking at the contours of the tank. It looks difficult, but in my mind, I, I, I'm looking at, I'm like, I already have a game plan in my mind and I have a vinyl research already that I've ordered and I, I know I can wrap that in one piece. It, 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 to me, I've been doing this so long and I'm self-taught. Um, I went on YouTube, I went on Google, I, I did everything you guys are doing right now. And I think I've done well in my research and just figuring out how vinyl really works. And I think that's, that's a big thing that I'm gonna sh try and explain you guys, try to show you guys in these next uh, few videos that I'm gonna be creating for this playlist. So definitely stay tuned, man. And for everybody that has came here because of the last tutorial that I put out, thank you guys so much. Your comments, your 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 DMs, just just the the positivity from those videos that I've been getting lately. Oh my God, man! It it just it gets me so excited. And you know, I almost quit YouTube. I, I almost quit YouTube. And my son told me, "Don't give up, just keep pushing." Surprisingly, he told me that, and I did. And I found something that I I enjoy doing, which is vinyl wrapping motorcycles. And I never thought to share this with the world. So. You're gonna see a lot more of this, and I really appreciate your guys' comments. Thank you so much. It means the world to me that you guys actually care and want to learn. And I'm putting out these videos because a lot of you guys have been discouraged still. And I, I, can't, I can't stress enough how easy and relaxing and fun vinyl wrapping bikes can be. I just, I hope you guys stay tuned, man. I really do. Thank you guys for the love. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.